<laughs> How are you? My name's Lizzie. Welcome to Starshine Tarot. Thanks for popping by. I know it's dark and a little dreary in here. Um, I have my little lights going, but it doesn't seem to be enough tonight. It's extra dark. But temporarily, this is my studio for now. Um, I'm just going to use the Light Sears Tarot to see what is coming in for the collective. Um, I'm going to do three separate ones because the collective is so huge. Um, what's coming in for group number one? It's not a pick, pile, pick a pile. You can listen to them all. Um, you might get something from all of them or keep listening if it doesn't resonate. So group one, what's coming in for group one? What do we need to talk about, Spirit? The Hanged Man in Reverse. Four of Swords in Reverse. Okay, two more. <laughs> Sorry, it's freezing, guys. I even have a blanket on my legs. Queen of Pentacles. One more. Oh, my God. I guess we got two more. Five of Wands. And the Devil in Reverse. It's coming in for you. Pile One. Or Pile One. Oh, my God. Group One. So the hangman in reverse, you're coming out of a waiting period. I feel like you've had to wait on something, either waiting on news, waiting on funds, waiting on the courage. That's coming in. Um, something you've been healing from. Um, this could be cutting cords with something toxic. This could be healing childhood wounds. Some kind of victory here. Something that you've been... I just feel like a breaking of ties here. It's like you're getting what you need and you're moving on. So this is what's coming with this Queen of Pentacles. This could be about work. You coming back on uh, like losing a job or cutting cords with a toxic job. Or it might not be toxic. Maybe you're just going after more money. I feel like that better job might be coming in for some of you. Better career. This could even mean a promotion. Um, coming out of a waiting period to see if you're going to be selected for that promotion. Um, some of you, this is taking back your power, cutting cords with somebody who is very toxic with this devil energy on the reverse. This could be a breakup here. Um, finally getting free of something toxic. Like I said, um, finally deciding to get a separation or divorce or go your own way or um, not allowing someone to control you or speak to you incorrectly. It could be big, it could be small, but you're cutting cords here. Job, love, it doesn't matter. It's a level up for you because Queen of Pentacles is very on their game with money and control. Um, and control of their emotions, balanced. But we have five of wands. Um, there is some adversity here. There could be some people trying to fuck shit up for you. Um, this could be competition. Or this devil energy isn't going to allow you to let go easily. Um, but ultimately, I think you're going to get free of this. Top of the deck, we have Ace of Cups. This is a new start or a love offer coming in. If you're waiting on a love situation to come into fruition... Or um, being able to be free from something to go after uh, a dream job, dream person. I feel like that's coming for you. Um, bottom of the deck, we have Seven of Cups. Trying to make a decision. You could be trying to pick between two people. You could be trying to pick between two jobs. Um, really focusing on making um, the right choice. Let's clarify what this hangman in reverse is. Clarify the hangman in reverse and tell us more. The judgment. You're cutting cords with things that are karmic. Lessons, jobs, people. Making room for like love to come in. The career you were meant for. Um, cutting cords here which happened through Mercury retrograde for a lot of us. And through this new moon in Scorpio is that take charge energy. Um that justice what goes around comes around in the good way for you um let's clarify what this four of swords in reverse is 
Four of Wands. Um, this is celebration. <laughs> Good collaboration here. Um, but to me, this is screaming freedom. You're getting free of something. Your freedom here. Um, it could be like getting out of jail. It could be um, financial freedom, paying off debt. Um, it could be breaking free of a relationship, breaking free of a contract you didn't want to deal with anymore, breaking free of a job that was dragging you down. What you're celebrating about it. Let's talk about this Queen of Pentacles. Please clarify what the Queen of Pentacles is. The Fool. Yeah, you're you're going into a, a new a new cycle, new journey, um, in a new direction, and you're taking charge. You're going to be financial, financially stable and grounded and confident. What's this Five of Wands? Nine of Cups. <laughs> um, it's going to be difficult for you to make a love offer if this is a love situation. Or it might be difficult for someone to make a love offer to you. Um, but this to me talks about a new start that's difficult. It's not going to be easy. It could be work or love here. Let's talk about this devil in reverse. Eight of Cups. Yeah, again, you're walking away from what doesn't serve you. Even if you're like leaving a full cup behind, knowing there's a hundred more full cups in the direction you're going. It's like you're finally going, maybe this uh, Five of Cups is fighting yourself to make a decision because they did say you need to make a decision about something. You could be having inner turmoil. They're saying that will um, be cleared up and you will make a solid, stable decision. Oops, the light fell. <laughs> Don't go away from the light. Don't fall away from the grace of situations when they get tough. That's a warning in there. I'm trying to find the best way to light it up a little bit more in here for you guys. Sorry. I'm going to have to get like a little lantern or something. Alright, we'll get two cards for the final messages for group one. What do they need to know what's coming in? the moon <laughs> uh, seeing the truth getting that clarity you need but you don't know how that's going to come in I don't think you see it coming <laughs> um, that freedom the, gaining your freedom I don't think you see it coming alright these two pots yeah new start take that leap of faith is what they're saying and <laughs> again with this four of wands celebration your freedom is coming in whatever sense that means to you so, group one, you're going to be getting your freedom. And again, judgment for top of the deck. And the bottom of the deck is the devil. Um, cutting cords with that codependency. Um, you're still codependent right now. Um, either by force or you're trapped in something. But your message is it's ending and your freedom is coming. Yay! Celebrate group one. Let's move to group two. What do we need to know? What's coming in for group two? Ooh, Seven of Swords. Six of Swords. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. Two more. The Hanged Man in Reverse, which pal one, or group one. Why do I keep saying pal? Group one also got. Ew, and the lovers. Okay, so seven of swords. Um, I feel like you're defensive of something or someone's defending you. This could be someone defending your honor. You're defending someone's honor. Defending a connection to people in your life. Defending what you want. Defending your opinion. Six of swords. Um, I do feel like a burden, a tense situation you're moving away from. It's like you're taking what you need, you're taking your assets, and you're moving on with something, whether it's um, moving towards love or work. But Ace of Pentacles is an offer coming in or um, communication coming in. Um, the Hangman in Reverse, again, for Group 2, I'm feeling like you're coming out of a waiting period. Um, and maybe if you've been single, it's finally like the love of your life coming in or a lover could be coming back to you. A love offer could be coming in. You could be wanting to make a love offer. Let's get some clarifiers here. Talk to me about what the seven of swords 
is about. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Oh, five of Wands. You're defensive because um, there's some competition or some adversity um, that you need to face. It's like people are against or you fear people are going to be against the choices you're making. Um, let's talk about the Six of Swords. Clarify. Ooh. The Devil, the Empress, and the Wheel. It's like you have codependencies or some kind of addiction. This could be being obsessed with someone or this could be um, you're literally facing addiction. Um, or some kind of so codependency that's stopping you from birthing a new project and turning the wheel in your favor. So I feel like the Six of Swords, maybe um, you're following... I just feel like you've been manipulated, like you're recognizing the devil for who they are in your life and you're packing what you need and you're literally moving on and creating a new start, new cycle for yourself. I just see packing your shit and leaving. I don't know what that means. I hope it resonates. Let's talk about what this Ace of Pentacles is. Ooh, King of Swords. Really um, being on your shit and seeing the truth of who people are in your life. And it's like if you do get an offer and you, you want to be really logical or if you want to make an offer, you want to come correct. Um, the Hangman in Reverse. Ace of Swords in Reverse. So you're coming out of your mind. Like, this to me talks about, like, a crush. You're thinking about making a move and you're finally getting the gumption. I'm just going to do that. Going towards an empress energy here. And for some of you, this is a new start. Um, passion project. Cutting cords with old jobs. Trying to be logical on how to do something. But we do have the devil energy here. There is something in the way or people in the way. I'm going to do last two cards for it. What's coming in for group two that they need to be aware of? Nine of Cups. This is happiness. So I feel like um, if you're trying to make a choice between two people or you're waiting for love to come in, you're going to make the right choice and that love is coming. Uh, Nine of Swords. Be that free spirit. Um, follow your heart. And I think that's what you're about to do, which is amazing. So I hope that was helpful. Pile number two. Um, good stuff coming, but I do um, ha I think you have some warning with that devil energy. I think you're going to have someone try to come in. But I, I think with this Knight of Swords, you're going to be on to them. On top of your shit, just moving away from them. They're not going to take that easily. So there is someone, some kind of energy here trying to... Drop the card down there somewhere trying to stop you in some way so they're warning you about that and I just think that you're gonna trust your intuition as long as you follow it Ugh, got it. <laughs> I think you'll be alright overall good stuff coming uh oh this thing popped up go away thing oh no <sighs> sorry guys <laughs> You probably can see me, but I can see you at all. Anyway, group three, hello. Technical difficulties, at least on my end of things. What is coming in for group three? What do we need to know? Ooh, nine of pentacles. Look at you. Why are you falling tonight, right? Just behave. Coming in for group three, the High Priestess. What's coming in for group number three? <gasps> Four of Swords also came out for group one. So this might be a continuance or you might want to go back and listen to that one again. We have the Strength card. And Six of Cups. Mm -hmm. And death and rebirth. Nice. 
Okay, so with this Nine of Pentacles, this is receiving some kind of, you could win the lottery, you could be winning inheritance, um, getting that money you need from a job, getting a promotion, getting the answers you need. But with the High Priestess is also talking about seeing the truth, making that clear decision, knowing your worth, knowing what you want here. Um, Four of Swords. You're coming out of protect yourself mode and opening yourself up with this courage. You're going for it here. You're feeling wise and ready to end something, to start something. This could be ending relationships, jobs. It's like you're letting go of shit. Um, you're walking here and you're completely content in your decision to do so because you're gaining what you need to start a new cycle. This could be gaining, um, starting your own business, going your own way and being single going for a divorce which is coming up in all piles lately or piles readings all readings lately she's dropping the cards for all of you let's get some clarifiers here um oh i'm sorry death and rebirth is ending of a cycle starting of another which is gonna be good i feel so let's get a clarifier with this nine of pentacles Juggling. You're juggling between two things or you want to end something and start something, but you can't do two things at once. I feel like you're going to dead one and go towards the right thing here. You're going to come out of juggling mode, um, trying to collect funds or gather things. You're going to get what you need here. What is this high priestess clarified? Knight of Cups. About what kind of offer either you want to make or what offer to accept. Love offer, career, doesn't matter. It's like knowing what you want and going for it. Um, what's this Four of Swords energy in reverse? Too many. Eight of Cups. This could have been something you regret walking away from and you're coming back for. Or someone's coming back to you. This could be a second chance about something. What's the strength? Strength to make the decision for yourself and make the right decision. You're going to know what to do with confidence and you're going to go after it. What's the six of cups? Clarified. Yeah, yeah you're going to be mature in anything that comes in your way. Um, even um, mature with your feelings. You've grown up a lot. You know what you want. You're confident. And if you're not now, it's coming. What's this death and rebirth? A new start. You could actually um, be having a baby if you lost a child. Um, they could be coming back in a new baby. Um, reincarnation here. Um, this could be meeting the one new passion project. New start. A good, bountiful new start. So two more cards on what that group three needs to know about what's coming in for them. You're gaining what you need to walk in that new direction and go in that new start. Collecting. You're in collecting mode and it's going to come in. You're going to get what you need <laughs> to go towards a love. Um, a, uh, or loving yourself or loving your career. Whatever it is, it's like what you're meant to do, what you're you're here to do, whether that's who you're here to love or who you're here to end up with. Top of the deck energy, page of cups. Um, it's like you still don't really think you're worthy of <laughs> wish fulfillment. You still think that maybe you're stuck in your head day, dream, daydreaming about a love situation on that thing you're thinking about I think that's going to be coming into fruition bottom of the deck we have page of pentacles again referencing a new start it could be a second chance here and then me I'm seeing queen of pentacles with that um confidence here um if you're making a money choice I think you're going to make a grounded logical choice with this queen of pentacles but again overall it's just making a solid choice sticking with it and going after it and going in a, a genuine good um way or having a baby soon um with your twin flame for some of you all right I hope that was helpful everybody I hope you liked it I'll see you all next time 
I'm getting sleepy, so I'm going to go in and go to bed now, and I'll see you all tomorrow. At some point, I'll probably do another reading. Love and light, everyone. Bye!